In this video, I want to show you how to install Windows 11 inside of a VMware Workstation virtual machine. Now, I know this is kind of fundamental. I know this is a little bit of a basics baby beginner video, but I do want to get this out of the way so that we can move on to bigger and better stuff. So with that said, let's get to it. So the first order of business is going ahead and downloading a Windows ISO. Uh, you might be able to do this going to simply Google and then kind of searching for Microsoft Windows 11 download, super duper easy, and you'll be able to to grab it from the Microsoft official website. When you get to this page, it offers three different options for installing or creating a Windows 11 media install. The installation agent will help you upgrade a device that you are currently using. The installation media will allow you to kind of put together a bootable USB drive or CD where you can install this anywhere that you'd like, or we could simply download the Windows 11 disk image or ISO file. That is what we would like to do because we want to be able to put this inside of a virtual machine and you will need to, hey, make sure you have all the settings here. Uh, make sure you're using a 64-bit CPU. You are connected to the internet to download upgrades, etc. Now we can go ahead and click on download and that will bring us to the select product language tab where we could go ahead and select the language that we might like to install this in. I am speaking and reading English, so I'll go ahead and click confirm on that and it will give us this Windows 11 English 64-bit download that we'll go ahead and click on and now you can see that's downloading just here. While that is downloading, we can go ahead and download VMware Workstation. If you aren't familiar with it, VMware Workstation does require a license, which does cost a pretty penny. So if you aren't in a spot where you could use this, maybe that is something that you might need to consider. VirtualBox as a free alternative uh, is an option. However, that requires a little bit more setup to get Windows 11 working. And I'll try and post a video on that as soon as I can. Okay, now both of these files are downloaded into my downloads folder. You can, however, move these into any location that you'd like. I'll go ahead and get started with the VMware Workstation installation if you haven't gotten that installed already. This is a typical installation process. Really, you just kind of click next the entire time except the defaults. However, you can make any changes that you deem appropriate. Next, accept, next add to the path. We don't need to join the VMware Customer Experience Improvement Program. However, I would like to check for product updates. Let that install. This may take however much time it needs. And while that is installing, we can go ahead and move this ISO file to any location we might like to keep it persistent. I'll go ahead and right click on this and cut it to move it into a different location. And honestly, I tend to move things into a directory that I just kind of reserve for ISO files that I have downloaded. Now that I'm in this directory, I can simply paste the file here and we'll see that that will copy or move as we need it. Now that's just in a safe place where I don't have to worry about it ever being deleted in my downloads and I always have it readily accessible. I don't have to re-download it next time. Now our VMware Workstation install has completed. We can hit finish on that and we will need to restart our computer. We can go ahead and do that and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, my computer has restarted. I hope yours has as well. We can now fire up VMware Workstation. And if you haven't already added a license key, you might need to do that. But anyway, we should see a display of our library and yours may very well already be empty here. But uh, I will go ahead and right click on that left hand side, click new virtual machine, and then we'll follow the prompts here. Now this says, welcome to the new virtual machine wizard. What type of configuration do you want? Typical is totally fine. Uh, we will select, I am installing the operating system later because we'll need to make some other changes and actually make it so that Windows 11 can install nice and easy on this virtual machine. We'll hit next after we've selected that. We can change this to a Microsoft Windows, Windows 10 and later 64-bit. I don't think that matters too, too much. However, it is good to do. And I'll say Windows 11 VM for my virtual machine name. You can put this in a specific location. Yours might be different. Again, you can modify the default location, changing that at edit preferences. And we can again hit next here. Now this is asking, okay, how large do you want the hard drive to be? Personally, I like to use 100 gigabytes for virtual machines that I create. However, I have a massive and overly spec'd out computer. So maybe your room and space varies. Splitting the virtual disk into multiple files is again a fine option. We can again hit next. And now that it is ready to create the virtual machine, we can go ahead and select finish. And now we can see that our Windows 11 VM has been created. It's visible on the left-hand side in our library, and it's displayed in the front here. We can, before we get started, edit the virtual machine settings. Because you may remember, we haven't actually added the ISO file for this to be able to actually boot up to Windows 11 and install it. And it also doesn't have some of the hardware that's necessary for Windows 11 to run. In fact, we need to remember to add the TPM device or the trusted platform module. We can go ahead and add that right in the settings here within VMware Workstation. So we'll go ahead and click on add. 
And then we can go ahead to the very, very bottom where it says trusted platform module. But you might notice the explanation here says the virtual machine must be encrypted in using UEFI or UEFI firmware, and we aren't able to click the finish button here. So this has to be changed just a little bit. If we go into the options and navigate over to the access control option, there's an option for encryption. And it says this virtual machine is not encrypted. You can protect this virtual machine's data and configuration with a password, and we can simply click this encrypt button. You can enter whatever password you might like, I will enter obviously something super secure, despite the fact that this is a virtual machine and only will live on my machine. However, it's still good to do. And with that, we can go back to the hardware tab and simply add our trusted platform module. Now we are given a better explanation that we are allowed to do this and we can click on finish here. Now that the TPM and trusted platform module is present in our virtual machine, we can go ahead and boot and install Windows 11. But first we have to add that ISO so we actually do that. So still within our edit virtual machine settings menu within VMware Workstation, we can move over to the CD or DVD option and actually go change this physical device connection to a ISO image file, which we will again browse and we can go navigate towards where we put our ISO file. Mine was FNFS ISOs, and now I can scroll down to where our Windows 11 English x64 v1 disk image or ISO file is. We'll select open, and while we're here in the settings menu, let's actually beef up our memory. I'm going to bring this to 8 gigabytes. You might use whatever's appropriate. You will actually, I think, need to still beef up some of the memory to about 4 gigs of RAM, uh, and I'll also add a bit more processors here for 4 in my case. Hit OK, and now we are all set. Our Windows 11 virtual machine is ready for us. We can click the green play button to power on this virtual machine and click into it because it will ask you to press any key to boot from CD or DVD. So I'll hit enter or spacebar. I'll hit control alt and enter to be able to full screen this device and you might be able to do the same if you wanted to hide the library. Now we are all set to install. We'll select the language to English. I'll hit install now. If you have a product key or activation key, you might enter that here. Just for evaluation's sake, I'll enter, I don't have a product key down below. Now on this page where it's asking, hey, what version of the operating system would you like to install? Personally, I like to scroll down and select Windows 11 Pro because that seems to give me the most amount of features. Once you hit next, you'll be greeted with the applicable notices and license terms. You can hit the checkbox. Hey, I'm totally cool with that. I accept it and move on and hit next. We'll use a custom installation to install Windows only because we aren't upgrading anything. We're just putting it on this virtual machine. This drive should already be set for us with the allocated size that we selected when creating the virtual machine. We can go ahead and click next and let Windows install. This takes a little bit of time, so I will pause the recording and get back to you once it's done. Okay, now it looks like Windows has finished installing and now it's ready to restart. We can go ahead and restart this virtual machine right now. And now that Windows 11 has been installed, we still have to go through all the boilerplate, setting up your account, setting up your device, that whole process. Your virtual machine might reboot a second time so we can get to this process. Okay. Looks like Windows 11 is set and ready for us. We do need to select the right country or region. I am in the United States. You can modify that as needed. That's the right keyboard. I don't need to add a second keyboard layout. Okay, and next we need to enter a name for our device. I will simply call it um, device, I guess. <laughs> Pretty creative, right? Looks like we're rebooting again. Now it asks me, how would you like to set up this device? I will say for personal use because I'm not attaching this to any domain for work or for school. Uh, and if you need to add a Microsoft account, you can. However, because this is just for a virtual machine, we can say, let's give me some other different sign-in options. And then you can actually choose an offline account. So you don't need to connect this to your online Microsoft account. Personally, I really hate doing that. Uh, we can skip this for now because they're trying to convince you, hey, use a Microsoft account. However, you really don't want one. You can say, who's going to use this device? You'll use this name to sign into your device. I will simply say admin and I'll create a password. Super insecure, we'll say admin because again, this is just a virtual machine I will use for own my sake here. For a security question, what is your pet's name? Um, I guess my dog's name is Bam Bam. Security question, what's the name of the city you were, look, I'm not gonna give all this information out to you on the internet. Stop trying to cyber stalk me, you weird threat actors on YouTube. <laughs> Next, we need to change the privacy settings for our device. We can scroll through and actually turn everything off because I don't need my computer to stalk me any more than it already does. And I believe that is it. Windows 11 is just going to check for updates one last time and hopefully we will reboot and actually get into our desktop environment here. Hi. Yep. We're on our way. Might take a few minutes. Almost there. This is taking longer than expected. All right. 
Here we are, we are in our Windows 11 desktop, nice. However, we're not yet done. I'm gonna hit Control Alt and enter one more time to break out of the full screen and I'm gonna actually right click on the Windows 11 VM at the very top and select Install VMware Tools because I wanna be able to copy and paste in and out of this. I wanna be able to resize the screen very easily. I wanna be able to drag and drop files in. I wanna make that convenient and nice for me. So once I've set that up, I can go ahead and actually run the Setup 64 that's displayed when our Windows 11 virtual machine realizes, okay, we've added that disk in, and that will go ahead and uh, after we've ran the setup 64.exe, clicking next on all of this, of course, we will go ahead and be able to install VMware tools and get all those quality of life convenience things added in. There we go. Now we can see that it has resized the screen just easily, and I will click finish, and it says, hey, you have to restart your machine for the settings to take effect. We'll go ahead and allow this to restart our virtual machine right now. And with that, we now have our Windows 11 installed. We'll be rebooting to our login screen, enter the password for our user, get a welcome, and be able to log into our desktop. And there we are. And we are finished, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you can set up a Windows 11 virtual machine inside of VMware Workstation. And now we can use this device or any others for anything that we might like to do with security research. In fact, let me add in a little bit of nugget at the very end of this video in case we want to be able to create multiple Windows 11 virtual machines. Nice and easy. So I will break out a full screen here and I'll actually go ahead and turn this machine off. I'll power it down, right clicking on the VM and selecting shut down guest. And I will right click here and actually create a snapshot once this is done shutting down. I wanna make sure it is fully off before I do this. Perfect, looks like it has shut down. I will go ahead and right click on the virtual machine and select snapshot. I'll take a snapshot and I'll call it fresh install and then like maybe with VMware tools. I can hit enter to take a snapshot there. And now I'm actually gonna right click this one more time and change the settings here. I'll go over into the options and I'll make in the advanced options, let's actually check this enable template mode to be used for cloning nice and easy. So I can hit okay on that. And now this virtual machine that we've just created can easily be cloned or recreated without us having to have to sit through the entire installation process for Windows 11 and then getting the VMware tools installed. This will make us much faster when trying to create other Windows 11 devices or machines that we could use. Let me show you that process. So I will right click our Windows 11 VM, I'll move into manage and I'll click this clone option here. And this is welcome to the clone virtual machine wizard. This wizard will help you create a copy of the virtual machine. If you intend for other users to create clones from this virtual machine, you should enable this as template mode, which we've just done under the VM settings option advanced. Now, when you're in template mode, you can specify, I want a clone from an existing snapshot, which is why we just created one. We made that fresh installation with VMware tools. We can hit next and we can create a full clone. A full clone is a complete copy of the original virtual machine at its current state. The virtual machine is fully independent but requires more disk space to store. And that does mean it's a completely second virtual machine. It's not linked to or reaching back out to its original creator. Normally you could set that up with a linked clone. A linked clone is a reference to the original virtual machine and requires less disk space to store. However, it cannot run without access to the original virtual machine. So the original virtual machine, your template, still has to exist. But in the case of our Windows 11 virtual machine, you cannot make a linked clone of an encrypted virtual machine. Now when I hit next, we can change the name to Win11 clone and I'll hit finish and this will go ahead and clone. Because this isn't a linked clone, like that original option that we might have been able to choose if we weren't encrypting this operating system, this Windows 11 VM, then this would go significantly faster. This might take a couple seconds. This takes a little bit, but again, much, much faster than booting and looping through all of the installation process, setting up a device, setting up the account, etc. This, I think, is still a good thing to do if you're trying to create multiple virtual machines with just a flat vanilla Windows install. By the way, if you are creating a virtual machine in template mode so it can be cloned and you can create other copies, uh, make sure that you have the hardware settings exactly how you want them so you don't have to change them for each one when you create a new clone. Make sure it has the right number of RAM, make sure it has the right number of CPUs, make sure it has the hard drive that you want, the number of network adapters, the ne network adapter settings. You know the drill. Make sure that that is exactly how you'd like it. And now our clone virtual machine has completed and we could boot that up if we really want to in our Windows 11 clone, but it will be the same virtual machine that we just created without us having to have to go through that install process, having to have to set it all up. We could just log in as the user that we've created and get straight to our desktop.
We could do this for as many machines as we'd like. We could actually do this to set up, hey, multiple workstations in like an Active Directory environment or set up your own cyber range or lab for you to experiment and explore in. Log in here as the admin. And that is it. We are done. We have Windows 11 installed, readily accessible inside of a virtual machine, and we can super easy clone this as needed. With that, we are finally at the end of this long, beginner-friendly, hopefully, uh, basics, fundamentals, just a quick install video on getting Windows 11 set up inside of a virtual machine. I know this is specifically for VMware Workstation, which maybe some folks don't have access to because it is a paid, you need to have a license to be able to use that software. However, I will create another video just like this for doing this within VirtualBox. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. Everybody. Hey, quick reminder, please do press that like button. Maybe leave a comment, help the YouTube algorithm and engagement, and especially, especially subscribe. Click that bell. It super duper helps the channel grow, and I really appreciate it. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you in the next one where we get to do some stuff with our new Windows 11 virtual machine. <laughs> and I love you. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you are too. I'll see you then. Take care. Oh, 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 oh,